Hello friends, good morning. Coming to you from a different apartment to where I normally wake up as over the past few months I have moved apartments. I'm so happy. I haven't done a tour or anything at all yet, which I would love to do, but I haven't finished furnishing everything yet and I just want to wait till it's done. So looking forward to doing that because I'm really excited. It's a really beautiful space and I'm super happy, everything is good. I am about to fly to Singapore. I've been to Singapore, I think once over the past few years during COVID and I couldn't leave the room. It was a little bit sad. So this time I'm going back and things are back to normal, I think. I'm not sure what I'm planning to do yet. The weather is lovely because it's Singapore, it's going to be humid and rainy. I would like to get a massage. That's like only one hour of the layover. I know I always get massages, but I love massages. I also need to get an outfit as I'm going back to Adelaide for a wedding in a few weeks. Maybe I'll find something. I have only been to a couple of weddings in my life. Like one was my family members and one was my friends, parents. So yeah, I don't know what to wear and I'm pretty casual. So let's see if I find something, but yeah, I'm so looking forward to it. Time to get ready. I'm working in business class now, for those of you who haven't seen that update. So it's been such a lovely change, completely different to working in economy. Of course, you have a different service, you have far less passengers, less crew, and I've been enjoying it so much. It's just nice to have a change and there's more time to get to know your customers. Met some really amazing people. So let's see who I meet today. Let's see what I do on this layover and let's have a great day. All right, let's finish getting ready. Alrighty guys, we are ready to go. Let's fly to Singapore. <laughs> I'm not sure if we have to wear masks on this flight, but I'm optimistically wearing my red lipstick, so let's go. <laughs> Hello guys, we have made it to Singapore. Super exciting. We are staying in a different hotel to the one I've stayed in before. And I thought we were staying in that one. So now we are staying in the city and the view outside is beautiful, city view. Oh, can't wait to see it tomorrow during the daylight. The flight was lovely, working in business class, as I said, which is really exciting. I have so much to learn, but it's just so nice. The conversations and relationships you get to make with passengers which you normally wouldn't have time for in economy. I love economy still. I went and helped on my last flight in economy, but it's just nice to have that change. I have 30 minutes to get ready and head downstairs and myself and a bunch of the crew are going to head into the city. Well, we're already in the city, so I guess head out and enjoy, get some food, have some drinks and just see what happens. I'm looking forward to a very good sleep in this room. Oh, the view is just so nice though, yay. I love, I love a city light view. Let me show you quickly. I'll show you the room quickly as well. Very nice lighting. We love the mirror, of course. Bathroom and toilets are behind here. It's quite a well done room, I think. The one thing I would have changed, which I did change, is this desk was here and I couldn't like even get this close to look out the window. So I gently moved it. Now I can enjoy the view, which I will show you. It's a bit tricky because it's dark, but yay, so pretty over there. Okay, so there's my room. Now time to quickly get ready, have a shower, hang out my uniform and start this beautiful layover where I am so happy to be back in Singapore. Okay, let's go. We are ready, hair is wet, but we're running downstairs. Let's go. So excited for bed. What a lovely evening. I have a 
cup of tea, bottle of water, phones are charging, and hours of entertainment waiting <laughs> for the Samsung to hit the corner. I don't know if you guys do this at school, but basically we used to, when we were watching TV or whatever in school, we would wait until, oh my gosh, is it gonna? No. We would wait until the little box screens everything would hit the corner and that was like, ooh, is it gonna happen? Oh, so close. See how it rebounded here and here? If it like hit the corner perfectly, that was like probably a core memory. One of the best moments of your life. For those of you who understand what I'm talking about, Great. For those of you who don't, I don't know how to explain this game. Okay, it's time for bed. Afternoon, guys. It is 2.30 p.m. Singapore time, which is 10.30 a.m. Dubai time. And as I had intended, I slept from around... Actually, I don't know what time it was, but I slept for 10, 11 hours, which was the plan. So now I've ironed everything. I've done my makeup for the flight. But now I have, like... Uh, how many hours? Six or seven hours until the wake-up call. So uh, basically I'm ready to go and now I'm able to enjoy the rest of the day without having to worry about getting ready. So I am going to head out shortly. My plan is to eat good food, do a bit of shopping, enjoy the sights and just be happy that I'm in Singapore again and able to leave the hotel because it was very very sad when I was here. I don't even remember when it was, maybe a year, two years ago, and we stayed at a hotel in the airport and it was just very sad. So, looking forward to heading out. Ended up having such a lovely time last night. Ten of us showed up in the lobby. We walked literally like just down the street to this place, I can't remember the name, but we managed to find a table of ten just before they were closing. We ordered a few drinks, shared some tapas, classic Singaporean food, not really. It feels like I'm in Spain still, um, but it was really nice. And then half of us left and I continued on with a few of my crew and we had a little dance, a little drink at this place just next door. And it was super nice, just, just really beautiful crew. And I think we're all just happy to be out and about enjoying layovers with no masks back to normal, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna get dressed quickly and head out. It looks like it's raining again, but my hair's wet anyway, so that doesn't matter. Let's go. Okay, ready to go. Pretty much wearing what I wore last night, but with a blue thing instead, because keeping it simple and comfy. We are ready to go. Oh, happy to be in Singapore. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, and this is the view in the daytime. So pretty. Woohoo. I saw these macarons and I had to get one. I chose salted caramel and it was delicious. I have literally no idea where I am. My maps was being very confusing and I somehow ended up at the Ritz Carlton, but the lovely valet man pointed me in the right direction.
there was some kind of graduation or celebration on which was really nice and there you can see Marina Bay Sands which is probably the most iconic building in Singapore. I've been up there before to the restaurant which was lovely but I didn't feel the need to go again. They're good. Before COVID, I had a delicious Japanese lunch somewhere in this area. Uh, the restaurant was called Kinky and it was fabulous. Amazing view, must try if you're here. For me, Singapore is in a way similar to Dubai. You know, it's a place where there's so many expats and so many different cultures, but Singapore is a lot easier to get around by foot. It's a lot greener and less hot. So both cities certainly have their parks, but Singapore's really nice to walk around. Here I was walking around with no intention, but found this really cool area, which had a lot of restaurants. So I'd love to come back here next time, just by this bridge and near this rainbow building. After just exploring and walking around, I was now on a mission to find a beautiful rooftop bar to watch the sunset. Of course, I went to the National Gallery of Singapore, didn't look at any art, I was just there to find the rooftop venue, which annoyingly was at capacity, they weren't accepting walk-ins, but that's okay, I had a couple of backup plans. Up next to iconic venues, we have the Stamford, which is the tallest hotel in Singapore. I've actually worked for this brand before, and Raffles, where the Singapore sling was invented. Very well-known hotel. That was another failed rooftop attempt, but this one is the Andaz Hotel. And up the top, there's a bar called Mr. Stork, and it was a great success. Look at this view, it is exactly what I wanted, and I was lucky enough to get the perfect table. The staff were fabulous, super accommodating, and of course, I had a classic Viv combination, macarons, wasabi peas, and a liter of sparkling water. Delicious. It ended up raining a little bit throughout the day, but whenever it was raining, I was in a mall or undercover, so that worked out very well. Now, my next mission was to visit a cat cafe I'd found online. I went up this really scary staircase in a back alleyway. Thankfully, the cats were there. All was fine. Didn't have enough time to stay though, so I decided to come back next time. Look at them. They're so cute. And come back another day. It's like $18 for two hours, but I don't have two hours to spend, so. The city certainly comes alive at night. Last night we landed pretty late, but tonight was a Sunday and the streets were bustling. I didn't end up finding a dress or getting a massage, but I did find a place for very good sushi. They made it really quickly for me because I was running low on time. The agadashi tofu was so good. What? A delightful day it has been. Back in the hotel room, I just had a quick dinner nearby, had some avocado and cucumber maki rolls and agadashi tofu. That's like my core veggie sushi Japanese restaurant orders when I go out and it was so good and they made it for me so quick because I didn't have much time. Ended up finding a really cool um, dress store because I'm trying to find a dress for my cousin's wedding and all of the dresses I tried on, I just was like, mm-mm. Sometimes you just have days where you shouldn't shop. So maybe next time I'm in Singapore, which is in like 10 days, I'll come back and have a little bit more success. But I was just not in a clothes trying on mood basically. And the change rooms were really small and I was like, Ugh. so yeah, better luck next time. I'm going home with a very light suitcase. I intended to buy a lot of things. All I bought was two mugs. They're wrapped up, but it's one for each of my parents. I just thought they were really cute. One of them says, um, let me just show you. So the first one I saw and I thought of my dad and it says, hello hungry, I'm dad. Basically, I remember when I was younger, I'd be like, dad, I'm hungry. And he'd be like, hello hungry, I'm dad. And I'd be like, um, but yeah. And then there was a cute one that says mama bear and it's purple and my mum likes purple. And I just saw them next to each other and I thought, that's cute. I'm going home in a few weeks, so just like a random thing to bring. I never know what gifts to get people, but I saw those and thought of my parents. So yeah, I am going to get ready. I think I've got 20 minutes until the wake up call. So I'm gonna get myself ready as much as possible so that I can just chill, lie down for 20 minutes and then put on the finishing 
touches and get ready to head downstairs. It is a full flight again tonight. Should be a little bit easier because it's a night flight and the services tonight are different to the ones that we came over with and it was a day flight on the way over. So yeah, it was great on the way over, but just like nonstop busy, which is good, but also I'm new and I just would like more time to like do all the tasks I need to do. I'm gonna chill and get ready and then I will check in before I go downstairs. Bye. Okie dokie, we are ready to fly back to Dubai. We'll be landing around 4 a.m. and I had a really good sleep last night, so no need to rest before the flight. I sat down for like 15, 20 minutes, so that was nice. And now I can chill on the bus for like 20 minutes, which is always nice. Sometimes we stay right at the airport and then you just walk straight to the airport. But I kind of like it when we have like a drive to the airport. I get to sit and chill again before the flight. So for me, I like to have the little ride. Um, but what a lovely time. I am so glad that I went out and made the most of today. Did almost 20,000 steps. It was so funny with those rooftop bars. I went to the one in the museum first, which was fully booked. I couldn't even go in as a walk-in. The next one I went to, they said it's closed on Sundays. And I was like, well, your website says it's open. <sighs> and then the final one, I went to the Andaz Hotel and it was so lovely. They were so accommodating. And I said, I really, really want a nice view to watch the sunset. And I was a walk-in by myself and they gave me the perfect table. So that was super nice relaxed there. I had some macarons and some sparkling water. Really nice time. And I have one day off and then I think I am off to Poland, Warsaw, which I have vlogged a couple of times before, but I'm really looking forward to being back there. Maybe more thrift shopping, but it's going to be way, way colder this time than the last time. Anyway, I need to get going. Hope you guys are having a great day, morning, night, and I'll see you next time. Bye. And I just saw an email that all of the COVID restrictions in Dubai are gone. So we stopped wearing masks like a month ago, but we had to wear it sometimes on public transport and on some flights. So hopefully they're gone forever.